Hi, my name is Kiri. I'm 26 years of age. And I pay for sex. Did you hear what I fucking said? I give all my money out. Oh yeah. I go to the strip clubs. I go to prostitutes. I go to the local escort on the street. I give all my money out. Yeah. And you know when I don't pay for sex, what I do? I use girls for sex. Yeah. <laughs> That's just what so many people experience or do on a daily basis, day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. And I'm gonna teach you and tell you some facts right now, okay? So come a bit closer. <laughs> when you pay for sex, you look for that love, you look for that emotion, you look for that femininity from a girl, but it never comes. Because if you didn't know already, when you pay for sex, it's transactional. Do you know what that means? She wants you for your money. You're giving her something and she's giving you a service back. But that love that you crave for, that admiration, that acceptance and validation from a girl, is not there. If you just want to fuck and you just want to fuck and pay for sex and bust her up, that's cool. But most guys pay for sex because they want to feel loved, because they want to feel understood, because they don't want to be lonely. And this is where a bigger issue arises. So many people do the exact same thing, the exact same thing, but they use girls for sex. Rather than paying, they use. They want to feel loved. They want to feel appreciated. They want to feel validated from a hot girl but when you sleep with a hot girl just because she's hot you never get those things again if you want to just bass and you're in your player life and you're doing whatever no problem or two go do that thing that thing i get you i get you but so many people even become sex addicts pay for sex prostitutes only fans they do all of this fucking shit because they actually just want to feel loved. They actually just want to feel appreciated. It covers from their childhood trauma. It covers up and puts a plaster on the love they never received and the love they craved for when they were a child. I've probably spoken to or had interactions with maybe a thousand plus girls, maybe 1200. I've said so many times, after my ex in 2019, I would message like 10, days, 10 girls a day on Instagram and I have the same script and the same lines and be like, oh, sorry, so excuse me, maybe it's like, and then I can't remember what I said, but and then I'll do the next voice, not like, oh, yeah, whatever. Now my line's a bit different. Now I say the following, are you ready? I'm so sorry, baby. You look too good for me not to come see you, Sam. Listen, um, you might have seen me before I do YouTube. If not, I'd drop a couple of photos. That's my line. I can see it in my sleep, innit? <laughs> but the first line is what I say to any girl on the street. There's some free game for you. Now you're going to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> again, it never matters what you say, innit? But again, as I said, I've spoken to so many girls. And you pick up things from experience, from mannerisms. Again, I'm 26 in it. Like you, you see these things. And this was many years ago. I'm, I'm nowhere near as active as I once was, and I'm probably going to be more active. But I, I do a more of the let them come to me rather than rather chase. It's time efficient. It's time efficiency. So I'm messaging all these girls, and again, you know, most ignore you. You know how the funnel system works. Like oh, you message this much, and then you're lucky to whatever. I think after messaging like a thousand girls, I ended up fucking like one girl directly. So conversion rate in the mud. <laughs> well, waste of fucking time. But again, that's just me being honest. So if you want to date all these girls today and get all of this for free or join my school, 
link in the description below. Yeah, you message all these girls and you talk and you send a text and whatever and your voice and all and you, you some of them you build some rapport, majority of them are done you don't. And then it comes full circle. You get on the phone with them or you FaceTime and something that Kiri always says, you talk proper face to face, not texting rubbish. And every single time I talk to these girls, it was the same thing over and over and over again. Every fucking person's been through childhood trauma. They want to feel validated. They want to feel accepted. They, these hot girls feel fucking insecure. Do you know how insecure these hot girls are? They were so many of them. I'm telling you, they're all insecure. They're all nervous, they're not proud of how they look, they're all sh very shy, timid, and then it's just like, then there's someone who wants to sleep around and do all of this, and it's like, they're all broken. Not just the girls, the guys, we're all broken. The majority of people throughout life are actually broken. Life breaks them. And everyone, no matter what age you are, you eventually experience some sort of hardship. It's just so many of them hide it underneath and they put it under the carpet rather than actually dealing with it because they don't understand that this hardship is meant to make them stronger in life and, and become the person they, they're actually truly proud of you know but so many of them let it consume with porn only fans ah fast feed you know the addiction list goes on right so so many of these girls that everyone fears and i'm so scared of and whatever they feel exactly like you they are broken. They are just broken inside. And it's very hard, and you always hear, it's so hard dating in the 21st century, especially in the Western world, but it's very hard to develop a genuine, loving, real, healthy relationship or connection with someone. It's so fucking hard. The best advice I can give is you become what you want to attract. You do all the fucking work for years. I don't give a fuck how long it takes you, but you become to a certain level when you're actually ready to date and hopefully someone's done the same. Again, if I'm very easy, I'm very good at this. I can pick up straight away if I'm going to see a girl long term, whatever, and I put girls in categories. And the majority of them, I'm fortunate to say, I do... I don't want to say use, but it's the only thing they offer me. Sex is the only thing they can offer me. Because they don't help me in life. They're not experienced in certain ways. They haven't even got life experience. They can't complement my life. If anything, they're going to bring me problems. And then I look at them and I say, you just look good. And when you just look good, I just want to fuck. I wish it wasn't like this. I wish people didn't play these stupid games. I wish society wasn't fucking broken, especially in the West when it comes to dating. But I just understand the game and I play it to my advantage. I'm not rude, I'm not disrespectful, but I say to them, listen, you lack the emotional connection I, le I need and I require. So if you want to fuck with me, we're just going to be six. Most girls don't like it. Some girls do like it. It is what it is. At least I'm honest, right? It's very hard to find a genuine good girl. I promise you that. However, if you work on yourself, you can make it happen. And you can feel loved, that feminine energy and validated by a genuine girl. Because that's so much better than a hundred fucking hoes. Or paying for sex and prostitutes and all this shit. Hope this has helped. Any questions, let me know. Always here for you. Thank you so much.